Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. I have three adorable cards for you today. Um, and they're kind of, they're, we're going to step them up. So I'm going to show you three different ways to achieve this look. And hopefully one of those will fit what you, your style, what you like to do, what you're comfortable doing. Um, and I, I gotta tell you, I, I, I don't feel well. I woke up with a headache. It's probably weather related. So I hope you won't hold that against me this morning. In a few minutes, you'll barely be able to see me. A few seconds. Um, so I'm, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and, and drop the camera and, um, and show you what all we have going on. So I know that I am gonna get lost and forget to share this. So I wanna pull out the April calendar and point out a couple of things. Um, one, okay, where's mine? Uh, I have changed a couple of things. So one of them is that uh, there are a couple of times during the week that I have, okay, that's on the wrong, Oh my gosh, this one has a Facebook Live and that one doesn't. You know, sometimes you have to print things to look at them. All right, so um, this online card class on the third Thursday takes place on Facebook. That's a Facebook Live. So I won't have one on Wednesday the 20th. On the second Tuesday, I participate in a blog hop and that will be a YouTube video so I won't have a YouTube live on the Monday so um, and it looks like I've still got some cleaning up to do this Friday I have a fun Friday in my studio so you can reserve a spot and come and have access to my tools and my stamps and my inks um, for for ten dollars you bring your projects you can purchase kits that I have here if you need something to work on if you have purchased a kit and you want to bring it to work on that's fine um, that is your your entrance um, Easter card class is next Thursday at two o'clock and this can be in person or to go but the in person is at two o'clock next Thursday and we are going to feature this Easter friends um, stamp set uh, with your class, you will receive a set of Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blends because we are going to color this adorable little duckling here, possibly this little chick. So um, that is going to be super fun. I hope you can join and uh, I hope that I'm going to feel well enough to get everything updated on my website today and get a newsletter out in the mail. Everything else I think is, um, well, kit and crop. This is a day uh, where you can come. We're going to, we've got the clubhouse reserved um, from 10 to 4 uh, on that day. And um, you're going to have a little goodie bag, but you're going to have a lot of time to work on your own projects. Um, bring your kits, purchase kits that we have. We'll have previous kits um, from classes um, that will, you can purchase that day. We'll have a yummy lunch. Um, so that should be super, super fun. Card Club is featuring the stamp set that we are going to work with today. So you get another sneak pre uh, preview of it. This online card class on the 21st, the third Thursday, is going to feature the Cactus Cuties. And that's also the same, uh, same stamp set, same projects that my team will make at the team gathering on the second Tuesday. So my team gets this class at a deep discount. Um, they pay $10 to get these a prepped kit for four cards. And my customers have an opportunity to get the card kit for free with a qualifying purchase. This Tuesday Express was super fun last month. Um, it is two designs. Um, you make two each. Uh, so you make a total of four cards. So it's a really quick class. And, um, and I don't have, I don't know exactly yet what we're going to be working with. One other thing to spotlight is I have um, a doctor's appointment on the 6th that could cause all of this to be a little bit skewed. But I'll keep you up to date as much as I can. And I should know more um, at least by the 7th. All right. So that is April. Um, 
I have the new catalog in my hand. Can't show you anything from it yet, but I'm super excited to be um, participating with a bunch of demonstrators this weekend on um, on some some stamping and some just a good time all around. Okay, so before everything falls off my table, let me let me jump in. So we are working with the Artfully Layered, and I'm not entirely sure I remember the name of the page, but I did. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, so here is our suite, this Artfully Composed Suite. Now, I have to confess, this ribbon is hiding from me so far this morning. Um, there's only so many places it can hide, and I've been cleaning up and organizing, so I will find it, but I probably won't finalize our cards just yet. Um, just looking. Okay, I was hoping. Okay. Anyway, um, so we are, this is our card club for April, and it is also what we are playing with today. We are casing a demonstrator from New Zealand and altering it to give us three different ways to kind of achieve um, achieve this look. This is this beautiful, bright, fun paper. And if you are not familiar with Card Club, uh, there are more details on my website at michellesalcho.com. Just click the Card Club button. You can subscribe to this club, and once you have participated for six consecutive months, you get a bonus um, swag gift. Um, but you also get a few little gifts here and there along the way. So I think that is all of the public service announcements. Let's get started. So I've got these pieces all stacked up over here and a bit of a hot mess. So, all right, let me see if I can just do, if this will work. All right, so I am starting with a piece of just jade cardstock. Now, um, the last chance list came out last week i have shared it a couple of times um, and it is evading capture right now i went through yesterday and noted the things that had already sold out um, one of them is um i believe it's the just jade ink refill i'm sorry i have no idea where this has gone um i'll try and get more information about that um, so don't wait guys these in colors are gonna go quickly um, all right so got this piece of just jade card base it is five and a half by eight and a half my card recipe will not include all three cards today I don't know which one it's going to include yet but um, you may have to um, you may have to get more from the blog or from the video um, okay, but this piece of designer series paper is three by five and a half, and it is going to go right here. Today we are using the Stamparatus, so if that is a tool you are not really familiar with, you'll want to stay tuned for that. And I just realized I did not shut my door, which means one of four pets or all of them might join us. I'm just going to go shut that door real fast. Oh, too late. I was too late and Ginger the cat has already jumped in here. Okay, so we have this piece and we have a white piece for inside. We have a die cut that is going to go here. We have a, another strip that I'm going to have to probably cut um, for our greeting. And I just need an inch. I've already done some of the other uh, cutting as well. And you know what? While I'm at it, I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of these. I had hoped to have three complete samples made and then we would make three while we were on the video, but this will work out just fine because 
um, three complete cards might have taken us too long. So jump off, please. All right, so I just cut those strips at an inch. Now for this piece in here, in this piece we have some stamping to do. And we're actually going to use the Stamparatus for this. Okay, so here is our stamp set. I love this font. I love this big leaf. Um, I love that we get this little background to create some interesting textures. Good morning, Joyce. How are you? Um, so let's... Uh, okay. Sorry. I, I am totally a little struggling. Um, we're going to go ahead and stamp this leaf on the inside of our card and then we will use the Stamparatus for the other stamping that we have. All right, so I'm just kind of lining that up on the grid paper just because that's habit. It's not something that is critical for what we're doing right now. And now my inks ran away. <laughs> there they are. Some days are just like that. Um, headaches are just no fun. For a large stamp, I do frequently bring my ink to the stamp instead of the other way around. Um, and this stamp has a lot of depth to it. It has a real watercolor look. Um, and I'm just going to stamp this kind of in the corner here. You know, Rosemary, if you're watching, I just want you to know, yes, that, that does hurt my abs to make that kind of pressure. So, okay. All right, that little guy is clean. I've cleaned, I cut my chamois um, in pieces sometimes. All right, so this piece is gonna go right here. And then we're going to have this here, and then we're going to have a die cut here, our greeting, and um, another die cut, and a piece of the ribbon, you know, that ribbon that's hiding, here it is, are all going to go down here. You with me so far? All right, so let's do this guy because we are doing some masking today. And so we need this template that I cut for a few different things. Now, I've already picked up my stamp and arranged, um, made some markings on my paper to tell me how to position my layers, which will make much more sense in just a moment. And then this is going to be a mask for us. And we are going to stamp this in Evening Evergreen. Now, Just Jade is a color that's retiring with the annual catalog in the, the 1st of May. Um, a Evening Evergreen we have for another year. And I absolutely love it. Now, uh, can you see? Can you see that I got some ink along the edge here? If I was just stamping on a block, I would be very concerned about getting that on my my card. But on the Stamparatus, it really, it really rarely, rarely, rarely happens that you get a halo. And in this case, since we're going to a die cut, I really shouldn't get a halo because that should be outside of the die cut. All right. Now, I'm going to bring this out and I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. Oh my goodness. And I will need that there. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and grab this, um, this greeting that I've already stamped just to speed things up a little bit on this card, but I promise I will show you what I did on the Stamparatus. You do not need two Stamparatuses for what we are doing. Um, 
I just did that so I could save a little time in switching things out. All right, and yep, I'm just pretty much gonna freehand this. I'm not bothered whatsoever. And then we need to put some color on this guy. Um, uh, that's kind of interesting because hmm, the way we blend this, okay, yeah, it's going to get color. Okay. All right, so I'm going to pick up, this is just Jade, and I'm just going to make sure I'm still in color, and I'm just going to come around and color him all over. Now for this particular card, we could color this with blends because if the blends bled through the back like they would, that's fine because this part is going to go down on the card. But isn't this pretty and soft? And you can make this as dark as you want. And I am okay with that. No need to clean it because we're going to use that again. And then I do need to poke these little guys out. I can't believe my ribbon is hiding. I wonder where it is. And we all know I'm going to find it as soon as the video ends, right? That is the way it goes. And this I am going to adhere right there. I'd hope that would be long enough to get to, but it's not. All right, shake that off. Get a little bit of glue. Okay, and just I've got that little stitched line. And I'm going to take that just so the stitches kind of show, just like that. Let's get that over there. Now, I can go ahead and put this down. I've heard several people say that they just kind of overlooked this stamp set, and I, I knew from the very beginning that I was gonna love it. One, I love greens, and two, I know that these large leaf these large leafy die cuts um, offer lots of possibilities right. where's my there's my bone folder so if you don't mind go ahead and like and share this video with um, with your friends and I will do a drawing and give away one set of these three cards. And I know that I promised to do a drawing last week that I have not done um, because I cannot, I have not taken the time to find what I need. Um, okay, so I shall go back and find it and we'll do that drawing. Hello, Alice. Thank you for watching. So you're watching on my Facebook page. I would love it if you would go ahead and um, like my, like and follow me here. Um, when this is over, my video will get uploaded to YouTube. From YouTube, it goes to my blog. There's a card recipe and a supply list that will be there. Thank you so much for sharing. 
Yeah, now, okay, so this is where my ribbon needs to go, right? So it's gonna go right there and cover up some of this little space. And um, I'm not gonna put this down. This will go down on dimensionals, but not right now because I gotta find my dang ribbon. Now, when you are putting a die cut, putting a piece of cardstock or a stack of cardstock on a ribbon, you need to be make you need to make sure that you don't catch just the ribbon. So that's why I put this. You know, this seems like a killer level of um, dimensionals on here, but I want it to be able to catch some of the cardstock because if it's just on the ribbon, it's just going to wobble. All right. So this is basically card one where we've just put the die cut on top and we have used a single layer on the inside okay now for card two like I said these all three are gonna have a very similar look and feel um, so let me see if I can grab all right so for card two I've already I've already got my paper down remember that is three by five and a five and a half Okay. And we have an inside layer for it, right? And um, and we're going to stamp it. No, actually, we're going to hold on to that for just a second. This is when we're going to pull out the stamparatus. And I don't know if you can see, but all right, I've got some markings here on the stamparatus. I have marked where my card base is going to go um, and for this one do I need to yes and I will need also to use the second marking which is where my inside layer is going to go so that they will kind of play peekaboo this is not the only way to do this technique but um, it's it's a pretty surefire way to do it anyway all right so I'm going to line this up with where my card base is. I need an arm over here so that you guys, I think you can see. All right, we're gonna stamp this in just jade. So make sure you're lined up good. I'm sorry if I got my head in there. Oh, nuts. Okay, that was not good. I did not pay attention to where my magnet was. It was in the way a little bit. Okay, so now I've got an outline here. We're going to do the same thing on card number three. So I think while we've got it out, let's do it. And since that lines up so well, I don't know that I really have to have a magnet on it. So this way we'll be able to skip a little bit forward when we get to card three. So these two are gonna be the same. All right, so that is all for that card base. Now, I need to clean this off. I stamped it in a little lighter color. I don't know that I have a really good reason for stamping it in a lighter color. Um, now for this one, so this is, so where my card base is, that card front is five and a half and four by four and a quarter. My, my inside piece is um, four by five and a quarter instead of five and a half. So it comes in a quarter of an inch. So I marked that off so that I could do this next step. So I'm gonna stamp this in Evening Evergreen. Now, this would be important to not get a halo, right? Because that is my that is my card. Okay. Um, 
I'm not cutting it out, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, there's a slight difference here in card two and three. So that's all we're gonna do with this for right now. We'll come back to that for card three. My husband is gonna have to save though. Okay, now for card two, remember that mask that we used? Bringing it back out. And I'm gonna grab my, oh, please tell me you're not hiding. Oh no, it is, no, there it is. I'm so excited about a new product in the new catalog that's gonna make this even easier. I can put this down here and here. Put Evening Evergreen back up, pull out just J. And remember, start off and then come in. So the blending brushes come in a set of three. You do not need to have a one blending brush to each color that you own. Uh, these clean up really easily with um, a microfiber cloth, a little bit of water. And again, you make this as, as dark or as light as you want just little circular movements. On this card, again, you could choose so many different ways to color it um, because this is going to be adhered down to our card. So you could, um, it would be okay, you could use the blends and um, they, would, they would bleed through, of course, but it's on the inside of your card, so it's okay. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. We could add a second greeting on the inside if we wanted to, but since we have that happiest birthdays on the outside, we're going to let that serve as our stamped greeting. Okay. And I can see that I went a little bit off my mask. I was not careful enough. And I got a couple little smudges on this. But isn't it isn't that so pretty how we did that okay now what do we do with this part clean up a little bit make some room and I'm gonna pan out a little bit so you can see a little bit more of this because I'm bringing in my cut and emboss machine, and I need some new cutting plates. I have them quite conveniently in a drawer, extra cutting plates. My last ones have gotten pretty warped as they do with use. And I believe these are going up in price um, for the next in the next catalog, so you may want to go ahead and stock up. All right. So now, so we stamped this for a reason. Okay. I need to line that up. The darker color might have been a wiser choice. I might be able to see better. Okay, I think that's got it. Now, we're gonna run it through. Let's 
got a few layers there. It's a little bit of a tight crank. Are we ready for some magic? There, there's our magic. Okay, so now we'll come back again and add the greeting. Oh, come on. And one of these, like so. And when we open it, we have that. So similar look, um, but a little bit of a, a little fanciness there. Okay, so what is different about card three, right? Um, card three, let me find. All right, so we've already stamped it. We can go ahead and cut it out as long as we've got this here. Um, I have to get the die back. Come on, turn loose. This is um, post-it tape that I have that I use to hold this die in place. Okay, where's my edge there? And there. That looks, that looks pretty good, okay. okay. Come on. So this time it's the, the inside of the card that is a little different. So now we've got the outside piece fixed. Let's see what's the inside, what's going on with the inside that makes this one even more different. And I need, so I have a piece of cardstock that is four by ten and a half and scored at five and a quarter. And that's, uh, I'm going to stamp it and then I'm going to show you what that does. And then we're still, we still have our happiest birthday wishes to stamp a couple of times too. All right, get you over there. A little blending brush out of the way. So you have hinges on your Stamparatus on two sides. And then you have two sides that are open. And it's the part that you need to hang off determines which side needs to be open, right? So because I am stamping on the bottom part of this, I need the top to be open. So I put my hinges here and here. I could just have easily done all of, you know, place this and had my hinge, you know, had it hinged towards me instead. It's just kind of a personal preference to go off to the right um, because I can, easily put something here. If I was hinging it this way and needed to ink up this stamp, it would be a little it would be a little more challenging. I'd have to I'd have to make more room. And you know, room on your table kind of becomes a premium. All right. So, this um this pencil line here at the eighth of an inch mark represents the score line here, and then this pencil on this eighth of an inch marks the line here. So I am going to, so it's about an, it's coming an eighth of an inch. So there's also a pencil line down here that you can't really see. I'm actually, okay. I think we got it close enough, right? All right, and then Evening Evergreen is our color. Now, for this version of the card, coloring with the blends I would not recommend because they're going to show through. Does that give you a hint as to what we're doing here? Right. So 
that goes there. Ta-da. And we'll go ahead and clean the sky off. My headache is still not my friend. Okay, that is it for this one. And what we need to stamp on the inside of this, bringing back this big leaf and the Just Jade ink. I think this Just Jade ink needs to be re-inked, which I know I have a re-inker, so I'm not worried about that. And then I'm just going to stamp this like so. Rosemary, I don't know if you were on earlier, but I mentioned when I did that stamp on card one that, uh, yeah, that was kind of painful to my ribs. Okay, so hmm, that's interesting. We need our mask. And we're going to blend this. Then we're going to stamp our greeting. And wouldn't it be nice if that ribbon just jumped into my head and told me exactly where it is? But it's not. It hasn't. These colors, I just love them together. Just Jade and Evening Evergreen. I think Evening Evergreen is going to be a little lonely when Just Jade leaves. I'm going to miss Just Jade and Misty Moonlight. Okay, and I wanted to be a little more careful. See, I've got a little hang off here and a little hang off here, so I need to make sure that when I'm doing my little circles, I'm not going off of my mask. So you could always put down a post-it note under it as well, or I could have put my tape right here. And I'm just going to make that a little So again, blends would work for the other two cards, will not work for this one. Right, our mask is finished. Then we put this down. Let's let's burnish this a little bit, and then put the bone folder like that. No, no. Glue because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. And hopefully, I've measured this. There's the magic, and it looks like it could come a little bit just to fit the window. But that's pretty dang, that's pretty dang spot on. You know, it could come down a little bit if it wanted to lift. And I want to show you, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and cut this other one. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, okay. Let's do our greetings with the other Stamparatus so I can show you how I lined it up. So this is a, a red rubber stamp and the, the you put the label on but it's not a guarantee that, that, that the bottom of your image is really going to line up with the bottom of those words. It can be a little trickier to get these straight because of the photopolymer you can see through and you can't see through this. So 
what I did was I, I put this put the stamp down roughly where I wanted it and then I picked it up with my the acrylic plate like you've seen just swung it over and then I picked this up and let's see if I can um, so this has grid lines so then I used the grid line here and the grid line here to kind of draw a line under that and see if it was straight and then I, I stamped it down and you know it was really straight enough to work with you know it's just a tiny tiny bit but I decided to move it just a little bit and I restamped it and it's exactly where I want it now for my greeting then I looked at how did I want this spaced and I felt like if I cut this at an inch and I placed it right in there it would be exactly where I wanted it and then the decision is what color am I stamping on stamping in and I went ahead and used just Jade for my greeting um, I could put a magnet down on this but I didn't feel like it was necessary and if I had cut my greeting more closely and so you can see that looks like it's just off the edge but it's really not it's just like that and it's tight because we want it to be tight on our on our card so there is one I'm gonna do one more because I need I need a total of three to put these together and I want to get them together enough that you can see you can imagine what it would look like you know once I find the right ribbon and I'll pull out the catalog and show you which ribbon it is that I'm looking for um, and why I think another one really won't do. All right, and I just cleaned my plates and my stamp with a little piece of the chamois. And then working with the dark green, I'll be sure to clear that, clean that out. Okay, now we need some little pieces of this. And I wonder if this should be any more narrow. Like I'm kind of thinking I want to cut just a tiny bit off. Maybe just a sixteenth. So if I use the edge of that track as my guide, I'm going to be cutting off, not with a scoring blade, but with the cutting blade, I can cut off a sixteenth of an inch. And I think, I think that that's pretty well spaced. Right, so we'll do that with this one. And I find that when I'm doing just these little bitty amounts that I want to bring the blade up rather than down. Down will tend to slide my, my, paint, my strip that's there. And I see that one I'm able to hold it on to with my fingers and not let it slide. Your blade can go both forwards and backwards. It has um, all right now a little bit of glue. Now I've used adhesive sheets and the foam adhesive sheets a good bit recently. Um, I didn't use them this time on that big leaf because I didn't want all of it to be adhered down. I wanted it to be a little blowy, it's not <laughs> flowing. Um, I don't know what the exact right word needs to be. But that was my reasoning anyway. And 
and I probably should have put a silicone mat underneath this because that glue is going to spread as I put this down. I'll trim this off. It's not entirely set yet. And we're going to add a little piece of a little bow from Linen Thread. Oh my gosh, somebody please tell me Linen Thread is still in the catalog. I don't, don't know that I could make it without it. Which is ridiculous. Of course, said there would be a new favorite. Okay, so there's one. So they each get this. I'm not watching next 45 minutes. That is long enough to watch anybody, isn't it? So this post should go out this afternoon. Like I said, the card recipe is only going to be for one of the cards. Um, but of course the video shares all of them and I will have photos of all of them. This will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. So if you're subscribed to YouTube, you're going to get notified then. And then the description of the YouTube channel should link you straight to this blog post. But of course, if you go to michellesalcho.com, that will take you, um, you can scroll through all of the blogs at that point. All right, and then we need some blue dots. Just a tiny bit. The glue dots come with the dot on the other side of the roll these days. I unrolled the whole thing and rolled it back up so that I could have the glue dots on the side I wanted. I am not that fussy, but it seemed easy enough to do, so I did it. And I hope. Okay, now there's another one. This little guy needs the bow. So we have everything except a little strip of that ribbon. And the ribbon I'm talking about is this frayed ribbon. So it's this ribbon here, and it's a really soft, um, it's just a really soft, fairly wide ribbon is three quarters of an inch wide and I I think that this card needs that um, I just don't think there's another good substitute so let's um, let's see if we can get these I hate that I can't do this complete and I'm forcing you to come back to the blog. But, all right, so this is gonna go like so. And then there'll be a piece of ribbon that just shows a little bit underneath and it will open like so. All right, so that is card number two because why would you go in order if you could just throw things completely off track and go in some crazy randomness, right? Oh my, I get over there. Okay, so all right, so this is card two. Let's put it, I think you can see there. Right. So roughly like that. 
I just say? Okay. Then let's go back to card one, which would be roughly like so. So really similar look, right? And then why do I have to? Okay, this is card three. Oh my gosh. Okay, so card three. You can't tell the difference between card three and card two until you open it and see that it opens up a card within a card. All right, so this is card three. Um, I think y'all are still in view there. And then this one would be card two as soon as I pop these little guys out. So card two has just one layer down on the inside, but it gets the cutout. I just put my mouse on top of it. So there is one, two, and three. So very, very similar looks, um, but a little different. I don't know if it's level of degree of difficulty or degree of... Um, fanciness. How about that? It's not really difficult, um, but it does take a little bit of time. But now you have seen three different looks from this fun fold. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Like I said, there'll be a newsletter um, going out today. You can subscribe to my newsletter and my blog. Those are separate. Um, the blog goes out with every video that's posted. The newsletter goes out more with information about classes that are coming up, how you can sign up, um, and uh, any more Stampin' Up! news is in the newsletter. Um, so I think that's it, guys. I'm going to go nurse my headache a little bit. Thank you so much for being here, for liking my video, for sharing my video, for subscribing to my channel. Everything that you do to support my business makes all the difference in the world. Um, thank you so very much. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.